Hi everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do June readings for all the zodiac signs. This reading is going to be for Pisces. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel, you guys are absolutely flipping awesome. Thank you so much. And I want to tell you about the tour that me and Donna, Geoff, and Crystal are going to take well, we'd like to take across the United States, California, meet as many of our loyal fans and subscribers as we can, do some readings along the way, and um, I started a fundraiser for this. We need your help. So the fundraiser is on youcaring.com. Look up Strength and Wisdom uh, Tarot Tour, and please make a donation. Much appreciated. So, let's see what's going on for Pisces. I am using my Medieval Cat Tarot. It looks like somebody's going to be left out in the cold. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have five of wands. And if you see these guys right there, they're going at it. They ain't on the same page. Not even close. In the Rider Weight Tarot, the five of wands would also be gossip, um, rumors. Like I said, not everybody on the same page. Everyone's going in a different direction. So we'll see how that applies here to your reading. Pisces, we are going to start off with more wands. And this is uh, the seven of wands. And this is somebody who is defending himself. And he's on higher ground. This is somebody who can back up everything that he's going to defend. Let's see if the other ones can. And what's crossing to help or hinder, you get the Four of Cups. I'm kind of laughing about this card that in the Ride Away Tarot you would see a kid sitting under a tree staring at his three cups that he doesn't see the fourth cup coming in. It's like something coming out of the blue. My gilded Tarot sees a kid under the tree, but he sees a fourth cup coming, and it's like daydreaming, fantasizing. And then you get the cat, a typical cat. He's like, I don't want it. Take it back. <laughs> it's almost like, really, that's what you're coming with? That's all you got? Pisces. Well, this could also mean that you, maybe you are standing your ground. Maybe you are defending yourself, okay, to get a better offer. Because what you got on the table is not going to cut it for Pisces. We'll see. <laughs> so, in your foundation, we have the Queen of Cups. Right in your suit, Pisces along with Cancer and Scorpio. Somebody who does wear their heart on their sleeve, but you don't know that because they're so well-tempered. All about intuition. They can speak very fluent in matters of the heart. They're very sentimental. And what's crowding the whole reading, Pisces, choices. Seven of Cups. Everything in every cup looks real good. Which one do you choose? Which one's the best one for you? Tough call. When you want them all. <laughs> so, it looks like you know, you are going to defend yourself to a certain point because you know what you deserve and you know, you know, what you're going to settle for. 
So whether this is in um, job, you know, career, relationship, you best be bringing what I deserve. But you stay balanced with it. I mean, you don't have to get nasty or mean or, or, or anything. And Pisces, it looks like you're keeping it in the back of your mind, too. I have other possibilities if I don't get the offer I feel I deserve. Good for you, Pisces. Why settle for less? Know your self-worth. Now, in your recent past, we have the Knight of Wands. Fire suit. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But he is a messenger. And usually it's the creative endeavor. Sure. They're all about the creativity. But it might call for a course of action. That's also the fire suit. So they might, in this bartering, maybe, that you want an offer that is suitable to you. And maybe you're thinking of a backup plan, you know, which is good. But you're going to, whatever the offer is, if you have to choose from more than one and stuff, you're going to have to make a call. You're going to have to make a course of action to it. Now, going into your future, Pisces, got the Ten of Swords. And you know how I feel about this card. I am so done. Had your chance. You did what you did. You did me wrong. You did me dirty. Ten knives in the back. Using the rear view now. Bye bye. Tens being at the end of a cycle, too. Whatever this was. Pisces, did you feel like you made the wrong choice and it came back and bitch in the ass? Is that what the conflict is? The five of wands here, the rumors, the gossip, you know, the seven, defending yourself? It just caused all this deception, being betrayed. Maybe you made the wrong choices of friends. Learning curve, Pisces, learning curve. Ten, end of the cycle. In the rear view. So Pisces, has, has, <laughs> how people see you in your environment. Got the ace of cups. And I'm just laughing because Pisces, you're the fish and how fitting. Aces are the universe giving you an opportunity to see if you seize it or not. And when it comes to cups, it's matters of love, something emotional, sentimental. And people see you like this, Pisces. Maybe somebody sees you as, you know what, brand new opportunity, fresh. Pisces, did you have to let something go? So you can hold on to your sanity. Made a wrong choice. And you're realizing it now. Pisces, maybe you made a choice out of passion and desire instead of using your intuition. Here we get the opposites. Fire and water. Maybe you were thinking, well, what's to say, not with your head, following a passion. And eventually, when you thought about it, and you use the intuition to say, man, something's just not right. You know something wasn't right.
Pisces, did you not only just make the wrong choice, but the real choice was right in front of you all along and you just disregarded it? You didn't take it serious? And the one you did take serious? Oof. Because this could be a brand new love. And how people see you, you know, your giddy cloud nine. So in love. Boy, it doesn't stay that way that long. Not with this one choice. Oof. Now, Pisces, in your environment, get the spy. Page of Swords. Now, in the medi medieval cats, doesn't look too much of a spy. Kid flying a kite. Okay, so he's got a sword up in the air. He's not really looking at the kite. It's like a decoy. This is somebody who is supposed to be a messenger. Some sort of communication, some sort of clarity, some sort of truth. And it's like he just hangs around. So we do. I'm going to fly this kite. Look at me, incognito. And he, they watch everything you do. They don't deliver a message. They don't tell you. Maybe there is something that they have to tell you. Maybe they could have avoided all these. And they didn't open their mouth. Pisces, if you did end it, or you're in the middle of coming to that conclusion that something's coming to an end. I'm kind of thinking they're on to you. They know that you're up to something. They know that you're going to lower the boom. And now they're watching. They're watching everything you're doing. Because they're probably thinking that you're getting rid of them because you have somebody else. Thus, the seven of cups there. And they ain't having it. So they're watching you. They want a truth. Whether they believe that truth or not. Or this could be, this could be you. You know, instead of um, somebody, you doing it to them. Because they could go back and forth. Maybe they're the ones that think to say, well, you know, before me, this one wanted them. Before her, he or she were dating that one. It just gets stupid. That's what this is all about. Doesn't matter what I did in the past. It's history. Whatever I did before you, got nothing to do with you. Same. So Pisces, it just looks like that, uh, you did make a choice, okay, maybe you weren't thinking, you know, with your head, you were thinking with your heart, and this turned into one hot mess, and you want to let them down gently, but I don't think there's no cushion for this one. Whether you've already told them or they suspect that you're going to, you know, end it. And now they're watching. Because in your hopes and in your fears, Pisces, I'm going to say it's a five. Yep. There's a hollow victory. This guy's got all the swords. Now the guy's in defeat. Get to stepping. 
And that just confirms that it's not a hope, but it's a fear that it comes down to this. That it gets kind of ugly. Because the hollow victory is kind of like being egged on and egged on. Especially if you get keen on this, that really? Working for the KGB? CIA? FBI? It, gets, it just gets ridiculous because you get the Seven of Wands here too in like defending yourself and defending yourself. That you do just flat out something and be like send them on their way. Yeah. It's like, it looks like what it comes down to. Maybe they want to go this way. Pisces, but you know. You know how much you're going to take. And what you're not going to take. What you'll accept and what you won't accept. Be fair to yourself. Because your outcome card is the five of pentacles. And this is feeling outcasted. Feeling shunned. left out in the cold. Well, Pisces, maybe you're thinking of doing this and they lower the boom on you first. And you get to feel all those feelings first. The betrayal, I can't believe you just did that to me. Backstabbed, I heard you lied about me, blah, blah, blah. Because in your plan of you doing this, they beat you to it. And that's the feeling that I'm getting here. Well, Pisces, you knew it was going to happen. Whether you did it to them, they did it to you, it doesn't matter. The end result is the same. You know, it's just like... If he gets to go... Guess to go. So that is what I have for you. Um, please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And please make a donation to our cause to go across the U.S. this summer and meet all you guys to youcaring.com. And I will see everyone back here real soon. Take care.